welcome back so in this video we'll be discussing on web server attacks so basically websites are hosted on the web servers and even web applications are also hosted on the web servers and web servers are themselves are computers running on operating system connected to the backend database or it may run various applications and any vulnerability in the application database operating system or in the network will lead to an attack on the web server and uh, just as uh, with any computer systems web server too can be compromised so attackers use various techniques to launch attacks on uh, target web servers and gain unauthorized access and some of the uh, attacks includes a uh, ddos attack that is a, a distributed denial of service attack and dns server hijacking attack or dns server amplification attack or directory traversal attack, man in the middle attack, phishing attack, website defacement attack, or SSH brute force attack, or web server password cracking attacks, or application based attacks. So, these are all the uh, common attacks on the web servers. So, understanding on the DDoS attack basically, an attacker may cause a denial of service attack by sending numerous service request packets overwhelming the a servicing capability of the web server or uh, he may try to uh, exploit a, a programming error in the application causing a ddos attack and uh, the sum of the uh, ddos attacks or uh, buffer overflow attack or a sim flooding attack or http get request flooding attack or ping of death attacks and coming to the uh, dns amplification attack so where DNS amplification attack happens when an attacker spoofs the uh, lookup request to the uh, DNS server with the DNS regressive methods and the size of the request result in a denial of service attack. And coming to the directory traversal attack. So basically uh, this is a vulnerability where an attacker is able to access beyond the uh, web root directory from the application so basically when a web server or web application is hosted so the contents will be uh, delivered from the root directory so through this attack directory traversal attack where the attacker will be able to gain access to other folders of the same machine so where uh, they can uh, uh, <clears throat> steal some uh, valuable data or uh, valuable informations from the server and uh, whenever uh, an attacker is able to uh, access uh, beyond the web root directory he might execute the os commands and get sensitive information or even uh, he can access the restricted directories also and understanding about the man in the middle attack so even in the previous uh, uh, topic also we discussed about this man in the middle attack where we can perform the uh, or poisoning the sniffing attacks so basically uh, this happens when an attacker positions him himself between a user and the application to sniff the packet and here the attacker's main goal is to steal the sensitive information such as the login credentials or the credit card details or the account account details or something like that and coming to the phishing attacks so where a, a phishing attack basically this is a social engineering attack so uh, basically just to obtain the uh, sensitive or confidential information such as username passwords uh, account details credit card uh, numbers or so and more more on and uh, also uh, it is a, a practice of fraudland attempts that appear to come from um, a reputed source like uh, uh, you, you'll get an email saying that uh, you want a, a, a gift voucher or you want a lottery or uh, even uh, in some some cases uh, uh, you you may get a invoice from your partner yeah, from your uh, uh, vendor so saying that you need to uh, transfer the account to this particular uh, uh, account so to deposit the account use this particular link or url to pay the amount so several several uh, uh, evil skills the att attacker will be using you to convince that uh, you're getting the email from the uh, reputed source and you're clicking clicking the link which is also a genuine link so they will come they will uh, convince you they will make you to convince and uh, or they, they will uh, uh, act in such a way that you will not get uh, uh, any doubt 
uh, on that particular mail or through the, on, on that particular URL. Basically, uh, scam, scammers mostly use the uh, emails and the text messages to trick you in a phishing attack. And coming to the website uh, defacement attack, so most uh, quite uh, commonly uh, this kind of attacks will happen. So where the website defacement is an attack where an attacker changes the website or web page uh, which visual appearance with their messages or with some images they, they may replace the image or they may add additional image or something like that. And uh, basically SQL injection attacks is mainly used for website defacement. And also uh, an attacker can add uh, SQL strings to craft a query uh, maliciously and exploit the web server. And coming to the SSH brute force attack. So this is a very serious attack where uh, 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 brute forcing is basically where an attacker uses the trial and error to guess the login information by submitting many passwords or uh, passphrases. Even this can be done manually or uh, they can use some uh, uh, tools to do this. Uh, even uh, they can also do the uh, dictionary based attacks so where they can uh, maintain a password a list in a text file which can be used as the password dictionary. So through which also they can perform this kind of attacks. So basically in an uh, SSH brute force attack the intruder brute forces the SSH tunnel to use an uh, uh, encrypted tunnel. Basically we know SSH is used for uh, uh, remote connectivity for uh, the Unix computers so for secure uh, connectivity and uh, basically if uh, you're anyone trying to connect the Unix machines through the SSH obviously it requires the password so where uh, through this SSH brute forcing the attackers can uh, gain the password so through which he may gain access to the uh, remote machines and also the encrypted tunnel is for uh, communication between the host hence the attacker gains unauthorized access to the particular tunnel and coming to the web server password cracking attacks so in this attack the attacker cracks the server password and uses it to perform more attacks and some of the common password cracking tools are Hydra, John the Ripper, Hashcat and AdCracker and more. And coming to the web application attack, so again uh, web application or uh, 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 quite a common target of the attackers, so where the attackers uh, uh, is going to exploit the vulnerabilities of the application and through that they may uh, exploit the vulnerabilities so most common attacks or uh, cross-site scripting attack or cross-site forgery attack or SQL injection attack or something like that and uh, through this uh, video you, you might be uh, understood about the web server uh, attack types so in the upcoming videos we'll uh, discuss the rest of the topics until then bye bye